And again, here's another example of buyers coming in all morning, guys. They were coming in for the 34 weeklies, 30, 35 weeklies, for the 36 next weeks, for the 37s the week after. So there's a lot of institutional money flow. And, and again, like I said a couple of minutes ago, when you see a lot of flow coming into the stock, usually you're going to get... Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome to another edition of uh, the AccessToTrader.com uh, nightly wrap-up show. Hope everybody is doing well. Uh, something really funny. Uh, usually our, our little channel here, we, you know, because of our special uh, niche, like we have a very specific niche. Uh, we're uh, intraday, primarily intraday, uh, because the last few weeks have been pretty good momentum overnight uh, swings and stuff, but pre predominantly because of our niche, uh, we usually get about you know 800, 900 view views uh, an update. You know, again, we have a very core audience. We have a very specific niche. We trade uh, channels, right? We trade channels both sides of the market. We have a game plan, and if that game plan um, confirms, then the trade is on. If the game plan obviously doesn't confirm, there's no trade. And last night I was sitting there and I just kept on getting, you know, just, just, just beep after beep after beep. And I look and I'm like, there's 5,000 people watching tonight's update. And, and it didn't, you know, it didn't register my mind. Why was there such a, you know, why was there such a big amount, you know, eight, 10 times the usual viewership. And I, you know, I realized that, you know, I talked about Tesla yesterday. The, the ironic part about Tesla is we were long Tesla for the last three weeks. The, the overnight update, was literally the first update that I told we were in long Tesla and I was just looking for some back test uh, to, to eventually set up this week, right? It wasn't supposed to be today. It wasn't supposed to be a specific time. It was supposed to be sometime this week for a potential exhaustion channel. Obviously that, that didn't happen. And I got a lot of re response all of a sudden, you know, all, all from 5,000 people, obviously I'm exaggerating here, but they're like, F you, you're wrong. I don't know what I'm wrong about. I have no idea what you guys are talking about. But again, guys, if you are brand new to the channel, we're not a long-term, you know, we're not a long-term um, program. We're not a long-term uh, broadcast. We are day-to-day. -day, uh, we trade both sides of the channels. Um, we have no, you know, we have no bias. Uh, again, like I said, we were long, you know, I've been long pretty much Tesla for the last three weeks of this whole move. This has been literally the first day that I was looking for some sort of exhaustion channel to set up for a bottom channel uh, potential backtest, like I said, that never came. But again, if you are going to participate in this channel, we welcome you, right? We absolutely welcome you. But just understand, this is not, you know, nobody's talking about where a stock is going to be three months from now, four, you know, four years from now. This is strictly day-to-day. -day. Our research is based on technical analysis and how the market is structured for the next day. We All we ask you is to be cordial. <laughs> That's it. And uh, you know, if, you, you know, if there's going to be 5,000 views, great. Grant your opinion. That's all fine and dandy. But again, this is a very specific niche uh, type of environment. I try to give you my uh, views for the up and coming days. You could take it. You could leave it. But the only thing we ask is be a normal human being, right? If you don't like something, they say, hey, listen, I think you're wrong. That's cool. But again, be a little bit cordial. Again, this is the, you know, this is the internet and we get it. Everybody has the right to say anything. But again, this is our cool little platform uh, for all you guys who've been following us for the last uh, 13 years, you kind of know a uh, little bit of a, of a niche that we have, and we welcome everybody. We hope everybody is doing well, and hopefully we can uh, give you guys some uh, alternative views of the market from our point of view. So let's talk about the tape, right? So uh, the market continues to be really, really strong ahead of uh, tomorrow's uh, CPI. Uh, then Wednesday, we have uh, the Fed minutes uh, and, you know, the, the, the possibility of a, a stall, you know, a halt in uh, interest rate hike is definitely on the table. Uh, the market today rallied after last week's of, uh, you know, another strong performance in the markets. You have all the indexes continues to push up here. You have the, the, the NASDAQ uh, up 200 points, a very, very strong. Uh, all the names keep on push, kept on pushing. Uh, we'll obviously uh, go through the pivots uh, in a second. Uh, but the key is going to see how is the market uh, going to accept. Forget about the CPI reading tomorrow. Obviously, that's going to be a very important reading, but I want to see how the market is going to react to Wednesday's 
potential um, halting in interest rate hikes. Uh, again, one uh, one area of the market you can make a case. Well, this whole rally was based on the potential of an interest rate kind of halt. Okay, is the market going to sell off on that news, or is this market just that strong? Again, we came into today. Uh, we talked about that over the weekend that the Nasdaq uh, going into today's session was up. The Nasdaq 100 was up 33 percent. Uh, took out the whole loss of uh, 2022 for 31%, or as the market just continues to be that strong in technology, no matter, especially technology, no matter how weak or strong the market gets or the data continues to go, the market continues to engulf that data and keeps on going higher. And if you look at the indexes again, this is the highest close in the whole formation on the Qs. We've been covering the IWM for weeks. We had an unbelievable, just an absolutely beautiful breakout here uh, three days ago off this 82 level. Again, the market continues to, uh, to to grind it higher. If you look at the SPX, and this is something that uh, we talked about over the weekend, um, You know, this is a 20% plus rally now from the October low. So you can see here, the market is just doing incredibly, incredibly well. Does the market go up every single day? Absolutely not. The stocks go down up every single day. It feels like it, but uh, you know they don't. Uh, and this is a very specialized market. And if you are uh, joining us here for the, for the very very first time, you know we we drive all our opinion. We drive all our research on either uh, the daily confirmation, which is 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 uh, very much viewed as quote unquote normal. But we also watch the option flow, and the options market uh, is very very important to us. Uh, usually, in my experience for the last 24 years, you're going to get a big uh, amount of effort in that direction if the buyers are coming in uh, with short-term expiration, deep out of the money calls, and they're coming in repeat. So, for example, let me give you guys uh, a couple of standouts today uh, that had met that bill. Uh, Amazon, right? All morning, we saw uh, nonstop, you know, nonstop, they were coming in. Uh, for the 129, 130 weeklies, nonstop. And this is when the stock was uh, 123, 124. They were just coming one after another, after another. And they finally confirmed this little baby channel that got rejected the last couple of days. We talked about that on the weekend update. Again, we'll get to the, the pivots in a second. Even a name like Plug Power, right? This morning when the stock was uh, trading in the nines, you know, they were coming for the 10 weeklies, one after another, after another. Then after the 10 weeklies, they started coming for the 10 and a half weeklies. And you can see here, it broke above uh, broke above last week's high. This is the highest formation in the close. It looks like uh, in the next couple of weeks or so, you might get a push into the 11 area. We also saw September uh, 1250 calls coming into the name. So very, very important there as well. One name that broke out really, really nicely today. And if you look at the weekly chart, it's usually not a name that's associated with the high flyers. It used to be all the way back to uh, the dot-com era, 2000, 2001, 2002. The leaders back then were Oracle, uh, Cisco, which Oracle had a great day today as well. Oracle, Cisco, Microsoft, Intel. And you can see the weekly chart, how close this thing is to really busting out of a weekly channel. But if you look at the daily chart today, it did break out. It broke out above this 3220s. It confirmed this 3257 level. And now this is a, a, a stone throws away. You guys see this high here on uh, 44, the high here uh, of uh, 303385. If Intel could get above this 3385 level, start its next leg up. And again, here's another example of buyers coming in all morning, guys. They were coming in for the 34 weeklies, for the 35 weeklies, for the 36 next weeks, for the 37s the week after. So there's a lot of institutional money flow. And, and again, like I said a couple of minutes ago, when you see a lot of flow coming into the stock, usually you're going to get another area of interest and more volume is going to come into the upside. Does it always happen? Of course not. But this is the difference between institutional money flow versus retail money flow. And if you've been watching a name, just, you know, for example, like a Tesla, right? Again, that we were long for three weeks, guys. Three weeks, okay? Nobody's bashing Tesla. Relax, calm down. Everybody just charged up. They heard the, they heard the weekend update that I was looking for a downside pivot at some point this week. They'd lost their minds. But okay, that's cool. Uh, even a name like Tesla, when the stock finally reclaimed the 50-day moving average and started building above this 178 and closed above the 78, you know, they were coming for the 200s, the 205s, the 210s, the 215s. When they finally got above this 205 close, that's when they started getting really aggressive with the 220s, 225s, 230s, and 240s. Uh, again, we saw some pretty deep, uh, you know, deep out of the money call buying continue today. Uh, for the 270s, we saw a short term. For the 280s, we saw... Uh, in July. So again, the market is very, very healthy. Again, I'm still watching uh, for a potential back test. But like I said in last night's video, you can't assume a back test is going to happen. You can't 
uh, anticipate a back test is going to happen. What you need to do is wait for it to take out the previous channel's low and start building. As you can clearly see, Tesla did not take out the previous channel's low. Uh, it never even came close. The closest it came was within three, four dollars of Friday's channel. So right now the market is is very, very strong. Again, is this market going to go up every single day? Of course not. You're going you're going to have to see. You know, you're going to have uh, pretty aggressive down days as well. Just because again the market just doesn't go straight up. You're going to see a lot of institutional money flow uh, hedge or um, buy or sell bias in both directions. And the most important part is now we have two data points ahead of us. We got the CPI uh, coming in tomorrow, and we have uh, the Fed uh, the Fed uh, announcement on uh, Wednesday. We'll see how the market uh, reacts to that. Uh, so let me give you guys some ideas, right? Let me give you guys some ideas. If you look at the beta names uh, for, you know, especially the names that I follow, and again, for all you guys who are brand new to the channel, I primarily trade the same 10 stocks. If there's some other names, for example, uh, but we with some option flow, I'll, I'll definitely look in that direction. But th I trade pretty much the same names over and over again, Tesla, Amazon, Meta, uh, Microsoft, uh, Apple, NVIDIA, all that all that good stuff. Today, uh, I, you know, I took some Intel, nice bounce, uh, closed within 15 cents of the highs. Uh, Amazon is looking super duper strong for tomorrow as well. So we'll see what happens there. So let's talk about some ideas uh, for tomorrow and then we'll get to the pivots uh, of today's session. Again, very, very uh, strong session. A lot of, uh, you know, a lot of market flow uh, definitely came in. So let's talk about some some names. Um, NVIDIA, take a look at NVIDIA, right? So NVIDIA had this really, really big run up, inverted hammer, back tested. That was kind of the idea of the whole premise of the Tesla setup who didn't, who didn't play out yet. You see this whole baby channel here, okay? That started from June the 5th, right? You see how it just stopped in this baby channel here twice. If NVIDIA can reclaim this little channel here that started on, um, on June the 5th, it could start waking up. Another case of option flow today, uh, they were coming for the following weeks, the 420 weekly. So basically means if this thing could start building above this channel here, the, the recent highs on May the 30th was 420. They started betting that this thing is going to get back uh, into that 420 level. So, very, you know, really, really good looking setup there. Uh, you got Shopify as well. Uh, again, this is close to a very, very big breakout from the May 10 highs. As you can see here, the May 10 highs and today's highs are exactly the same price. Uh, if Shopify can just get above this channel here, maybe this thing wakes up. Uh, again, short-term expiration of $70 calls that came into the name uh, as well. Look at a name like Chewy, right? Chewy had a really, really big gap up here on earnings, uh, consolidated for the last, you know, last week or so. Look at this channel here. This supply here is the 150-day moving average. If Chewy can get above this recent earnings highs, maybe this thing starts its next leg up, uh, next leg high. So you have a lot of value. Uh, continuing in these names. Again, we talked about Intel. We talked about NVIDIA. We talked about uh, uh, Apple. We talked about uh, Amazon. These are really, really strong names. And let's see if the market continues to pay off uh, all those deep out of the money repeat uh, call buyers, especially into uh, weekly uh, expiration on Friday. So let's talk about uh, today's pivots, right? Today's pivots, again, for all you guys uh, who are trading in the webinar. Great job. There's a lot of really good action. Uh, unfortunately, uh, we did not get that Tesla pivot. And again, you can see uh, by the notes here. So Meta, 268 uh, needs to build. Uh, Meta absolutely exploded here uh, in the afternoon. We talked about Meta on uh, the weekend update. Two days in a row, it got rejected off the five-day moving average. They finally reclaimed the 268 level and traded all the way up to 272. Hey, if this thing starts confirming today's highs tomorrow. Uh, maybe get a next leg up. Uh, Amazon, uh, here, here's a two-sided trade. Again, this is the whole point of pivots, right? Uh, we don't, you know, we don't care which way, you know, the stock triggers as long as it confirms one way or another. So Microsoft, 330 to the upside, 322 to the downside. Microsoft finally got above uh, the 330 area and in the process reclaimed the 10-day moving average closing uh, above 332. Again, this thing looks, continues to look uh, very, very uh, bullish. Uh, Amazon, again, here's another uh, here's another example. I got long on this thing as well. Uh, 25.80 to the upside, 122 to the downside. Again, we are unbiased. It all depends which size confirm. Amazon got above this 125.80. Uh, now this is the highest close, reclaiming back the five-day moving average. Again, nonstop, 129, 130 weeklies uh, coming into the name. Hopefully this thing uh, erupts tomorrow. And again, here is Google. I was waiting for the downside that obviously 
Never confirmed. Uh, 121.20 for builds below can flush. Google got nowhere near uh, that area. And Tesla, this is, you know, we were prepared for, right? It obviously, it didn't get down there. But 242 in places a blow off top today if it builds below can flush. Again, a trade setup is a setup, okay? It's not a trade. You're not in it. You're not assuming the stock is going to go higher or, or lower in this case. Again, this is exactly what we talked about in the weekend update. I'm not trying to anticipate a, a Tesla short. Hell, I don't even know if the, if Tesla's going to break you know the previous channel, how strong the rest of the market is. But the point is, a trade setup is what it is. It's a setup until it gets confirmed. Obviously, uh, 242 never get, got close to today. Uh, and the stock continues uh, to push higher. Uh, again, AMD broke out on Friday above 125.35. Uh, here is the setup here, pre-market. 129.20 needs to confirm uh, pre-market highs for more. And here was uh, AMD, right? Here was AMD. You can see here on the 60-minute view, right? So it took out the 29.20. It traded up to like 130 and a half, and it came in a little bit. But, you know, nice little pop here at the open. Let's see here. Uh, MREO never got to 140. Uh, Boeing, what a move on Boeing, guys. Congratulations. I missed Boeing. I was at lunch. Uh, 220 needs to confirm last week's breakout area. Boeing went nuts. It, it put up a $4 candle at lunch. Uh, this is at lunch, which is absolutely insane. It took out the 220 area, which was last week's highs. It literally put up a $4 candle uh, going into lunch. Congratulations for all you guys who grabbed that. Uh, Boeing, uh, CVNA went pre-market, nothing really there. Uh, Rivian, never, it stopped literally at 1361. I was looking for a 1360 breakdown, obviously never got there. And IONQ, 1135, never got there. Uh, KC, small little pop here, uh, 596 needs to confirm. Um, not really, you know, not really, I don't know anything about this KC, but KC took out the 590, traded up to 616 before it reversed back down and oh plug plug was huge uh congratulations for you guys uh who caught plug uh 990 10 needs to build uh they were coming right away for the 10 and the 10 and a half dollar calls very aggressively and here is plug right it took out the it took out the 990 10 area and closed right at the highs of the day into the 1040s looks like it still has a shot there uh at 11 bucks and cargo cargo continues to go as for all you guys who are still swinging cargo uh, 2080 it broke out on Friday, closed at 2160, still going higher. Let's see, you know, let's see if this thing continues uh, to go higher. And th yeah, this is the, you know, this is the last trade uh, of the day. I bought some Amazon here at 125.80 needs to build, ran up about a dollar. I still like this thing going into tomorrow uh, with the 130 call buyer. So for all you guys who are uh, brand new to the channel, especially from yesterday, again, we're not used to uh, 5,000 views for a market update. Uh, the, again, the only thing we are, we, we're a very close knit community. Uh, we have each other's backs. We we are very committed to unbiased technical analysis. Uh, if you are going to participate in this channel, just understand we're not a long term newsletter who is trying to you know predict prices from three we three weeks from now. I have no idea, right? We have no idea. We are literally trading uh, day by day, trade by trade on both sides of the market. So the only thing we ask, if you are uh, participating in this channel, welcome aboard. Ask a lot of questions, but be cordial. That's all we ask for. We're human beings. Uh, I didn't anticipate 5,000 people watching the video yesterday. Uh, and more important, I didn't anticipate 3,000 comments. So guys, have a great night. God bless everybody. And with God's help, I'll see you all tomorrow. Take care.